Welcome to Board Game Casual. You know, I feel like just recently I posted a video on all the progress I've been making getting unopened games on my shelf of shame played. I mean, I've already knocked eight off my top 10 list I made coming into the year. The problem is the shelf of shame keeps growing with new games. But hey, I call that a pretty good problem to have. In this video, I just thought it would be fun to take a look at some of the recent additions to the shelf of shame. First off, you might have seen me unbox this one back in February, Revive. I've yet to play it, but it might have to bump the line of some of the others I set out to play this year because I really want to try this one out. I am kind of dreading getting through the rules of this one, it looks a little complex, but man, I feel like I'm constantly hearing good things about Revive. I also think my buddy Andrew is really going to like this game, since he's really into games that have a lot of discovery, and, and this game is all about uh, flipping the tiles of ice to see what's underneath them. Next up, I think I mentioned I got this one as a gift from my girlfriend, and it's probably the game I'm most curious about. Moonrakers. I love deck building, but I rarely play games with a lot of negotiation and temporary alliances, which I hear this game is all about. So I'm really eager to see what this one's like. It's no secret that my girlfriend and I love Splendor. It's our go-to comfort game, so I was really excited to get a copy of Splendor Duel. This is a two-player version of Splendor that has an additional board and mechanisms helping to add variation and make it less predictable. Even more exciting to me is that it introduces multiple different win conditions, which sounds like a really fun way to strategize and maybe even pivot based on what your opponent is doing. I really liked what Wingspan Asia did in making Wingspan more interesting at two players, so I'm guessing I'll really like Splendor Duel as well. Part of me is a little nervous because I think one of the reasons I like Splendor so much is how elegantly clean and simple it is, and I hope these new mechanisms don't bog it down. Everything I read seems to be overwhelmingly positive about it though, so I'm really optimistic about Duel. Next being added to the shelf of shame is Heat Pedal to the Metal along with the Heavy Rain expansion. These were a generous gift from my buddy Andrew. I've really been wanting to try Heat given all the hype around it since it came out in 2022. And guess what? Heat's time on the shelf of shame was extremely short-lived. You'll notice the shrink wrap's already been removed because it's already been played. Sorry remaining games on the 2024 list. I had an opportunity to try this one out when my buddy Andy was in town and jumped on it. I still have yet to try anything besides the beginning race though, much less the Hard Rain expansion, so I can't wait to get in more games of Heat. And finally, another gift from my girlfriend, It's a Wonderful World. I actually had this game on my want list for a while, but over time it kind of got buried by other games catching my eye, so I was pretty excited to get this one as a gift. I've heard great things about this game and have heard it described as a combination of Seven Wonders and Century. It combines drafting with tableau engine building. I like that it plays up to five players and is supposed to be a pretty quick game because it has a lot of simultaneous gameplay. I got tired of Seven Wonders pretty quick. It's a fine game, but just didn't have enough in it for me personally. On the flip side, I love Sentry. So I'm hoping It's a Wonderful World will help fill the void in what I thought Seven Wonders was lacking. By the way, am I the only one who thinks the dude on the cover of this game looks like Bill Hader? I hope he's getting some residuals for his likeness. If you've played any of these games, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think? Should any of these have top priority as the next game I play? And if you want to see my original list of the top 10 games on my shelf of shame I set out to play in 2024, or the progress I've made so far, I've got links to those two videos down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.